Okay, flat idler pulley on a bunch of lawnmowers and this thing is like 30 some dollars and the bearing inside is much much cheaper so how do you replace this bearing? Um, there is, in this case, there was those rivets here all the way around. You have to drill them out and punch them out, okay? I'm gonna show this how that works. So, you basically, oh, when you have the rivet here, um, you use a prick punch, is this thing called? You go right in the center, like very much in the center here, and then you hit it with a hammer, like this. You see now there is a little hole in there, a little punch hole. And then what you need is, um, I pre-drill, right, a very small drill. You go in here, right, and you don't drill very deep. You only drill as deep as this rivet is sticking out here, okay? So when you're done with a small little hole, you drill a bigger hole and you drill like this size or bigger until the head of the rivet slips off. So once the head is off, it looks like this. See that? Then you take a little punch again from this side and you just punch it up. See that? Now the rivet fell out and is gone. You can, that's how it looks like. You can replace this thing now later with a screw or a new rivet. Now, to make my life difficult here, what they did was they spot welded around here. So now I can still not take those two apart. I have spot welds all the way around. Now I have to drill those out too. Now spot welds are harder than rivets, so you need to be a little more tricky here. Now. You also see here the spot weld and you have to try to get right in the middle of this. This one I'm not 100% in the middle. I'm gonna redo this one. So now I'm in the middle. And I'm gonna show you again here. It's very small drill and super high speed. I don't know how you guys can see this best here. There, high speed. There you go, all the way through. Here's another one. Uh, the drill came loose in my drill here, so I am afraid to touch it because it's probably very hot. There it goes. Oh, here. I have one left, so I drilled all the ones here. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm through. Yes, I am. Okay, so now if we look at this, they're all drilled through. Now what we need is a larger drill to drill out the whole weld, okay? We don't need to drill all the way through. Uh, we can drill only one half and then it will come loose. We could then, once we have done that, weld it again or we drill all the way through and use either rivets or bolts. But there will be a lot of bolts. So if we could see, count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts. If we want to do those six, you know, additionally to it, then we have 14 bolts. 14 bolts with nuts and everything costs a lot of money. So I don't know, that would be more expensive to buy the whole new thing, okay? So we wanted to go either rivets, less bolts, 
that kind of story. So for now, we need to find larger drill. Okay, and here I really suggest to have um, a drill bunch. I'm gonna go through here. You see how this flies around here? That is the risk you have if this is not in here good. You know, if you don't have a drill bunch, then you have those problems. So, all right, we're ready now to separate here those two pieces. And because if we have the welds to it, oh, this should be easy. And as you can see, it is easy. It's very easy to, to do. See that? This is one half. They will only match once together because of us drilling in here. And now, this piece here, I have to go this way. So what I'm going to do here, look at all this mess. We are going to go this way. We do this easy here, like this, with the bolt in there. Hear the noise? So that's the second half. Now we have to get this piece out of the of the bearing. I'm gonna use my bolt again, and then I'm gonna pull that out. Now. want to have it fly away there it goes whoa see this is the center piece now where the bearing fits on and then here we have our bearing and we just need to find a bearing this size so up here you can read the number and the manufacturer here Looks like more you or some. Okay. So that's how we find the new bearing. Alright, so a new bearing. We do have a new bearing and then this adapter piece and it has to be pressed in. And I use my vice for this because there is not much pressure needed. So I use the vice to align this super straight. Close the vise. Make sure that you don't squish your finger. So it goes in already very smooth. You see this? And you push it in all the way until it aligns here. Okay. There we go. And then we have to do the same thing. We have to press it in into one of those halves. So it basically gets pressed in here. This is the one what is easy here. Yeah? Fix it now. It's not uh, it's all the way in here. So let's try this here carefully. We don't want to put too much pressure on this, meaning we don't want to bend those metal halves.
that pushed in pretty good. And then <coughs> with this on here, it only fits in one position. So you have those two little small holes here where I align this with. So this is obviously wrong. You can see here that that doesn't match there. It has to be 180 degrees from this, like this way. So this is how it would fit. And then again here, it's not 100% in here. I don't know if you can push it here. Probably not. And as I said, we don't want to bend it so much. So what we do now here is we put those bolts in. I have a bunch <clears throat> so this way you go in here like this a lock ring there and then a nut and we just have to do this for all the holes 